If you like the video, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Framing techniques in video usually focus on composition and the one-third rule. But what about guiding the viewer's uh, focus or their eye inside of the frame? What about all those, you know, other things in the frame that are vying for their attention? Welcome to Pull My Focus, adventures in the world of digital filmmaking, where we give you the inside tips you need to make great video. You point your camera at your subject, the point of interest of your shot. Maybe it's a person, maybe a prop, or a whole set. What are different ways in that frame to guide the viewer's focus, their attention, to what you want? The lens sees in an expanding cone, and it's important for us to control as much of what we see in that frame as possible, so it furthers the purpose of our video. In the art world, they're pretty adept at guiding the viewer's eye in a static frame using composition, detail, and lighting and contrast. Composition. Composition is to compose objects, to arrange and form them into a whole that serves as a purpose. Take these letters. They're scattered about and have no meaning except chaos. Compose them into a line and arrange them in a specific order and they form a word with meaning. Now arrange them in a way that conveys additional meaning. We can do this in our frame without emphasis is placed on the subject. They could be balanced in the frame, or one is made to be more dominant in the foreground. We look at one first, then the second. We covered this in more detail in our video on various forms of composition from the art world. Detail. A scene is made up of an overwhelming mass of detail. Stare at it long enough and you see more and more. In the art world, they leave detail out in order to guide the viewer's focus. In our frame, we can accomplish this by leaving out props or using shallow focus, making the center of interest clear. Details can be easily missed until we see them in the frame, where a previously unimportant object now steals focus. It's like our homes and apartments. They're fine until we remember that guests are coming over and now we see the unnoticed clutter and mess that had been there in the background the whole time. If they don't steal focus, they could distract enough from the center of interest to make the whole shot dull. Kind of makes it all just gray. Light and contrast. We can guide focus with light. The most obvious is a spotlight in a theater that makes it clear, hey, look at this. We can create the same effect with light, but more subtly. If a frame is flat and lacking contrast, it can be hard to tell what the center of interest is. Contrast can help guide the eye. That can be done with lighting, or it can be done with wardrobe and props. These are all visual ways to help guide focus in a static frame. Can also be done with movement in the frame as well as movement of the camera. Thanks for watching. Check out pullmyfocus.tv for the companion articles that go with our videos. They give a little bit more info. Also, we now have longer courses online for sale, a link in the description below. If you get value uh, out of our YouTube videos, you'll definitely get even more value out of the deep dives that we do on certain topics uh, like mastering audio. through the frame. What about all that other stuff in the frame that's vying for their attention? 